Hello everyone, and welcome back to another 1.4 episode. Now, today, I want to do a little bit of exploration. I want to go into the snow biome, or the tundra, whichever one you want to call it, and explore the under, the underground, the cavern layer for the, the snow biome. Now, a couple things have happened since last time. I did a whole bunch of fishing, as I was trying to get the lava waders. And before I did all the fishing, I did a whole bunch of exploration, as you can see here. Um, and the clip you are about to see on screen is what happened when I finally found the lava charm. Just want to take a small moment to record. After, first of all, after doing a little world exploration. And, you know... After fishing a good amount, I finally got a lava charm out of fishing. Okay, so, um, besides that, expanded the homes, you know, got some more pylons working, got some fishing spots fully developed, and just some general improvements to stuff, fishing stuff, got an ammo box, and I got a new vanity I want to be wearing instead of the mushroom one, which is the chef. And it's a, it has a reference to Gordon Ramsay, which states, this chicken is raw. I think that's just a cool little touch. So unfortunately, our poor, our poor frost biome is just completely taken over by um, corruption. But I hope to find some ice skates so we can make a new 1.4 item called the Terra Boots. Dang, I always love breaking through that. Did I bring torches with me? I do not. Probably gonna get chilled a whole bunch of times. But main purpose for today is just to get those. There's a chest right there, in fact. Let's see. Oh, there's a trap right there. I did not see that. That chest didn't look like it had anything in it. Uh, yeah, that probably won't do me much good in the future. Especially with the boots I'm going to be trying to get out of this whole endeavor. Hmm. So what I need out of this is ice skates and torches. Who doesn't need torches? In the next episode, the next at least two episodes will be only boss battles, which will be the Queen Bee and then the and then Skeletron, because it's about time we get down there and fight Skeletron. Also, wouldn't mind finding some fishing spots while we're down here. Because the more fishing spots, the better. Here we are in the cavern layer now. Apologize for the darkness. But cannot be helped. I always liked the uh, snow biome underground. Just think, it's very nice. And all the glowing enemies and such are just really nice too. It's very, it's much easier to survive in this biome compared to the other ones like the jungle or the uh, desert biome underground. Even the cavern layer underground is rough with all the um, all the enemies spawn. I think the enemies spawn might be slightly less in this biome. I don't. I doubt it, but I think if any biome would have it, it would be this one. Let's get... Okay, we got a nice sword. Um, one other thing I got was the money trail. So now, instead of uh, having the... Crap. <laughs> Next step. And making some money too, as you can see, with the two platinum. New 
ice sword, which is absolutely lovely. Lots of still more stuff in here. And a nice mirror. Good stuff, still not what I'm looking for. I see a trap over there. The ice gates will finish up the boots department. And I'm glad they finally added this because this is just something I had been wanting for a long time, which is a combination between the lava waders and the frost sparkle boots. And what they made was the. Oh crap, I forgot. I fall through all this ice. Need those. There's the pressure plate, of course. Well, that was a good first try. I'll cut to when I get back. And here we are, back. So, let's try this again, shall we? And this time, not fall to our deaths, preferably. Hate the spiky ones. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take that off. There we go. So let's see, what do we got here? Finally, an opening. Mimic chest. I'll take that. Flurry boots. Nice, but still a no can do on the old needs. Also, as you probably just saw, I got a new grappling hook, the web slinger. Two which are placed which replaced my sapphire and the slimy one. It'd probably have to be over here. There's just so many traps. This is another one. So many traps. Hmm. The chest, please. Nope. That's rough. However, there's something underneath us. I'm going to the side, apparently. So, you can probably tell by looking at my weapons, but I've made a lot of upgrades. I'm pretty much at Wall of Flesh level stuff, which is really unneeded for these couple of upcoming boss fights, but oh well. Can you do, you know? All I really need from the dungeon is the purple key. As well as the, um, I need the cobalt shield and the Miramasa, or Miramusa, however it's pronounced. And that's pretty much it. And we stop right at a little hut. Always nice. God, I hope it has what it what we need. Come on. Nope, that's another one. Now, if I can't get out of these chests, I might do what I did with the flame charm and just farm a bunch of might farm a bunch of the crates. That usually gets done fairly quickly. You never know, it's all RNG based at that point. Can't remember if the corrupt statue is actually useful or not. Hmm. Oh, you can always find out. Dang, that's a lot of water. That's kind of unfortunate. There's another chest there. 
so I think we'll go to that one. Snow. These things look so weird. Like the actual, what the sprites supposed to represent. They're like fluffy creatures with a giant nose. It's kind of disturbing seeing what they actually look like unpixelized. It's cool, just kind of disturbing. Icy boomerang. Well, it seems we've come to an end of our loot for the first part. Well, we can always dump more in. And now we should be able to stack them as well. So we should have enough for like next couple of loots. Maybe three or four chests. Oh, I need my torches though. Mm, got a money room down here with gold coins. Always appreciated. Always nice, always appreciated. Hmm. And old campfire. Get that back up. And. Okay, let's try this again. Come on. Oh, that little bit of water. It's another chest. Please have the ice skates. Snowball cannon. That's... That's eh, okay. I guess. Not really the best. Did I get ammo with it though? No, I guess. I mean, I guess. I guess you don't really need ammo because you can just make your own, but like. It's kind of stupid that it wouldn't give you at least some ammo just to tell you what you need. It says there's something down here. Yeah, it's just light shining through. Nope, there is definitely something down there. Well, this new pickaxe should make it easier for building projects in the future, like probably gonna need to make a, a runway and for oh frozen solid. One of my most feared one of the most feared debuffs for me. I hate getting frozen solid. It's just same as petrified. Though surprisingly I haven't found a lot of um Granite or uh, granite or what's it called? Marble biomes. Just quite unfortunate. Should have probably brought a splunking potion just to make this all the easier, but it does not matter. I can't remember if Slush has the same uh, loot pool as, what's it called, as um, Silt. Frozen solid again. All the enemies must do, be able to do that. Diamonds. Diamonds. A lot of gold. And there we're at the bottom, unfortunately. So now we're gonna have to start. One more thing, we also got 
Oh, I stuffed it in my chest. A bees or get rid of that. Fortunately, we can't have it equipped with everything else. But did I take down the trap? No, I did not. Ah, oh, slowness. Really is quite annoying. I'm gonna use the statue. How generous. I can't remember if you can. I know you can't farm money, but I can't remember if you can farm items or not. Be uh, can't remember if you can fight I farm items or not via statues. I was pretty sure you can, so I could farm the Medusa's head from that statue. I don't know how good of a weapon it's gonna be, but I would be interested because it did get tweaked, at least supposedly tweaked. Wonderful. Sorry for my lack of talking. I have sort of a sore throat. Not a sore throat, but uh, it's not the actual problem of a sore throat. It's just my throat hurts. And don't let the internet take that as a terrible sentence. That would just be cruel and unusual punishment. But let's continue. I think I see I see something in the uh, distance over on the map right there. So tempted to find out what that is. Looks like there's several passageways over here. Hmm. I mined over here, I guess I just didn't continue over. Now, it seems I can definitely go a lot farther that way. Don't know actually how why the ice biomes undergrowth underground it is I might have to go back on the rail cart at some point should be fortunate I'd have to work my way back up there now those things do damage Maybe these guys just do normal damage skeleton damage with those sphinxes whatever they're called yeah, phylance it's phalanx is snowflinks flinks I don't know let's work our way back up get to the rail cart which is a ways up ways up indeed Get up here. There's something over there.
almost looks like water. That right there is water. There was water over there. Come on. Ah, oh, this biome swap torches. Biome swapping torch things. Really nice. Even though I think all I have in my inventory are already pre-made, pre-set biome torches. Let's see, is this gonna have it? Nope, that seems to just have... Bunch of incidents of death, I guess. I think I'll bring some bombs this time. I'll be back. Anyway, we are back at the minecart. I think we'll take it this way and see what this side's got to offer. Sea pots. I didn't remember seeing yeah much down this way. At least it does lead. To more open land. Don't have to do too much digging. Hopefully, it leads to another chest room. That would be quite nice. Yeah, I ain't touching that explosive. I've had the worst run so far on this on this playthrough with explosives. At least the chill really slows you down on the ice. So like. Oh no, it almost helps in a way. Like, I'm sliding so much on the ice right now. Before, uh, I'm still so no, guess not, never mind. There's another room. Will this have what we need? It does. I think that's pretty much it for the, um, snow biome right now, because, what? I guess the only other thing to do is be find a good fishing hole. That looks pretty good right there. So does really any of these look like pretty good fishing holes. Anyway, let's grab this life crystal here. And this trap. Let's go back home so we can craft up some of these things. So, uh, did a little bit, added more chests down there as well. And got the golfer. Let's see, golfer, angler, uh, stylus, and party girl. I don't remember if the stylus was on video or not. And besides that, I think that's everyone that's new besides getting a new dog called Yana. This is kind of like my main, I got the arena set up, which I th might have been in the video. I added an extra layer though. And besides that, I haven't really done too much. Besides, I found a beehive for the queen bee. And that will probably help. So let's get to our Tinkerer's workshop. Take off these boots. The frost sparkle. Now with the frost sparkle and the lava waders, we got ourselves the Tarops boots. Can be worn in banding slots, allows flight super fast running and extra mobility on ice. 8% increased movement speed. Provides the ability to walk on water, honey, and lava. Grants immunity to fire blocks and 7 seconds of immunity to lava. And now I have an action additional slot, meaning I can put Parasite's Rosar on. And that, that is perfect for the Queen Bee fight. But I think that'll be this episode. I know it was kind of short. But I'll be back. Have a good day.